Hi little magpies, time for a story. Time, you magpied something from a book I'm about to read. Tonight we're reading a book titled So Few of Me, written by Peter Reynolds. Look at that boy standing on a pile of paper. Looks like those are some lists. Hmm. So few of me. Leo was a busy lad. No matter how hard he worked, there was always more to do. Hmm. Maybe making a list would help. I thought of that too. I made my list. Well, I ran out of paper. Hmm. I tried. Got some of the things I needed to do today on the list. So, Leo's list of things to do grew and grew. So few of me and so much to do. If only hmm, there were two of me. Just then, there was a knock on the door. <gasps> Who could that be? Who could that be? Leo opened the door and blinked and rubbed his eyes. It was another him. The new Leo grabbed the list and said, two of us will get it done. Well, they were quite confident that they will. He was helpful, but found even more to do. A third Leo joined the two. How about four? Four makes a fantastic team. But maybe a fifth would be even better. Hmm. Still not enough. A sixth came in to help organize the lot. After a meeting for hours, they decided they needed a seventh. <gasps> With seven Leos, there was seven times as much work. Leo sighed and said, We'll need the eighth just to catch our breath. <sighs> the eighth Leos worked furiously. Look at them, piles, piles of things, and typing, playing football, washing the cat, sweeping, walking the dog, playing the violin, making lists of lists and lists of things and shopping and whatnot. Maybe nine Leos would get it done. What do you think? Will they get it done? Will they get it done? What the eight couldn't? Hmm. No. Add one more to make ten. Each one busier than the next. <laughs> Look at them. <gasps> wow. Leo, 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 and Leo paused to review their list. Back to work, nine Leos shouted. No time to stop, no time to rest. But Leo himself was <sighs> exhausted. He slipped away to take a nap. Leo awoke to nine other Leos staring at him. What were you doing? They demanded. I was dreaming, Leo said softly. Dreaming was not on the list, they roared. Leo smiled, still savoring his dream. The Leos disappeared one by one. Leo wondered, what if I did less but did my best? Hmm. He spent some time dreaming and thinking about it and he came up with something pretty clever. What if he did do less and did his best, huh? Then, one Leo is all I need. Just me, just one with time to dream. Look at him turning to, into one happy boy. What a difference, huh? Well, look at him dreaming. Whoa, I loved reading that little bit. 
where Peter Van Nolt, the author of this book, he's also the author of The Dot and Ish, two other fantastic books, shared how he, at one point in his life, signed up for a course to learn how to make the most of his time. And he learned to make schedules and lists and use every minute to the best of his abilities. And there was one thing. He had no time for downtime. He didn't have time to dream or to think and to wonder. And that's when some of the best things happen in life. That's when books happen and that's where great ideas happen and that's when you have the time to make choices and think, what's the best thing on my list? Now I'm about to go on holidays and I have to tell you, I started thinking about the, I started writing down another list of things I could do on my holidays. And you know what? I said, no, 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 none of that. I'm going to think, I'm just going to plan for lots of downtime and dreaming time so I can make great choices and I can do my best and not worry about the rest. Perhaps you can buy some of that attitude for yourself. Hmm? Good night, sleep tight. See you for another story at Magpie Yard.